Uh, right. Let me ask, uh, if someone is really excited about the sport, uh, you have some bouts coming up. Uh, someone fill us in on the, the bouts. I know there's a big major, uh, the, your final event, it's a double header or whatever you call it, over at the Windy City Fieldhouse, which let me just say for people who don't know, it's on Logan Boulevard, I believe, right at Western Avenue, just yeah. to the east of Western Avenue, uh, just north of the Fullerton. Right. And uh, that's where the, they're held. And uh, you tell someone fill me in on, uh, and fill the listeners in on the next events and some other special events you have. I know you have some fundraisers. You can't mention money, but you could talk about the place and all that. Well, we have um, our, our last big bout of the season is the 26th. It's the, it's the doubleheader you mentioned. Um, both our A and B team will be playing. Um, so the B team is playing State Line Derby Divas. And they are the Shade Brigade. Yeah, I'm sorry, the Shade Brigade. And, and they're playing the state line. Who are those? The people out of uh, Rockford? Beloit. Beloit. And then our syndicate team is playing the CN, CN Power. That's a Canadian team? From Toronto. From Toronto. Yes. Ah, Toronto, A. Eh? So <laughs> it'll be a, an exciting bout. All right, so uh, and showtime is uh, 7 o'clock. 6.30? Doors are at 6.30. Doors are at 6. Doors are at 6. Whistle at 6.30. Um, our other events we have coming up, we have, uh, if you don't know, there's the new roller derby movie that Drew Barrymore uh, directed called Whip It. It's opening on October 2nd, and we're going to have a Whip It release party at Debonair Social Club. We're going to have drink specials. What are the names of those drinks, Harley? You don't know. Um, there were a few of them. We have the the <laughs> bone they all crusher delicious. and the nosebleed. So we're gonna have drink specials at Debonair. You have to um, get those October second at ten o'clock. What do you think is the future of this sport? Who's got a handle on that? I mean, uh, it, you are uh, a volunteer organization, but in a sense, you're professionals. Uh, so talk about that and talk about where you see it going and not only your own, uh, your own team, your own league, but also what's out there in the world of flat track roller derby. Well, I think like all of us, you know, we pay to play. We do this because we really just, we really love it and we really just like want to keep going. And I think that the, um, like the hope for a lot of people is that eventually that people will be paid to maybe do this, right? When you say, like a lot of people hope for that. Not all of us, like I would play no matter what, but, or at least, you know, break even. Maybe we don't have to put so much money into it. Um, but as far as that, I think we just wanted to keep getting bigger and more well known and. Well, what's really important to us um, yeah. also as a non-for-profit is giving back to the community and keeping this up so we can continue to give um, to our charitable causes like um, tequila and um, the Huntington Brid Disease Society of America and Bridgeport Veterinary Bridgeport, Services. And that's our charity for the next pound, bout is the Bridgeport Veterinary Services. Uh, so. you know, we're doing radio, uh, but we will have this on youtube.com slash heartland media. But tell us about your uniforms. <laughs> Susie Crotrot. <laughs> what would you like to know about our uniforms? Well, I mean, uh, I'm not sure. So, uh, you all have the same shirt today. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm not sure at the, at the bouts I've attended, everyone had the same shirt. Uh, some people have uh, wild torn stockings. Some people have really short shorts. Uh, is it kind of, talk about the freedom, uh, kind of, of how you <laughs> decide how you're going to appear as, a, as an athlete performing out there on the flat track? Well, it's actually pretty funny because I'm actually the uniform coordinator. Last year, we had uh, Dickie's uniforms, and they looked really hot. Like, everybody kind of did their own thing to it. Like, you're still able to just have your own style with it, and they were but you're really able to hot. cut it up and whatever. Um, those were really binding though and we played a tournament last year where we played in t-shirts and people were like oh well we really like the, really like the idea of playing in t-shirts but at the same time I wanted us to kind of stick out from regular just t-shirts so I worked for um, a t-shirt distributor at the time Tattooed Tees who's also our sponsor and um, I just told him I was like hey I'd like to make our uniforms Could, is that possible and he's like yeah I'll give you a deal you do all the work and you know we'll cut you a deal and I, uh, it took a long time to 
<laughs> to like settle on something, <laughs> trying to get a group of girls to agree to wear something really similar <laughs> is really difficult. Because all of us still have, we all want to do our own thing, but I just wanted us to look uniformed and everything, so I somehow came up with the basic shirt, and you can have interchangeable bottoms, but they all have to be black, and you can wear any leg where you want, but they have to coincide with our uniform color. Now, how about the skates? And uh, I noticed that uh, I think you have the, the, the old-style roller skates, uh, four wheels? Yeah, uh, quads. What do you call them? <laughs> quads. Quads, quads, <laughs> makes sense. What about the duels, now the, those inline? Is there any, uh, where does that fit in the world of roller derby or not at all? No, there's no, no duel. It does not fit. No, no. Quads, quads only. Quads, quads or die. Only. There are some referees that um, may ref in uh, inline skates, but they are generally evil-eyed. <laughs> Strongly discouraged. In the sport. Frowned upon. In the sport yes. around the, the country and around the hemisphere, let's say, uh, is there a men's counterpart? Is there a flat track men's yeah. roller derby? Yeah, th there are some, yeah. yeah <laughs> it, it exists, but it's uh, not as popular. Um, like there are some men's leagues, like there's a, a league for the entire Midwest and they don't get together very often. It's usually composed of men that like are referees, like our refs are involved in men's derby, but they don't get to play a lot and there's not, um, like an organization for them, and they're, you know, they don't usually have a lot of games. Well, that was my other question, is you have uh, uh, most, I don't know if I've seen a, wo a woman uh, refing a uh, bout. Are oh, there any? yes, we there do. Are? Okay. Then um, I, I used to be I a referee. I glasses. I got new glasses. <laughs> I'm adjusting to these bifocals. So there are, there are female refs as well as men. Mm -hmm. we, I used to be a referee, and another member of our team, Gagan, used to be a referee. And um, we had a referee that just moved to um, Pennsylvania that we miss a whole lot, Leonora DeBitchy. She was one of our refs. So, and my roommate is actually a referee for the other league in the city. So we get along, and we get along with the refs. And there are women refs. Uh, just in case you tuned in late, you've been listening to Live from the Heartland, and we are talking to the uh, Chicago Outfit, members of the Chicago Outfit, a flat track roller derby league here in Chicago. Uh, they are playing uh, t uh, a double match or a double bout on the 26th of September over at the Windy City Fieldhouse. Tell me, uh, what is this coming up? You have an expo bout. Uh, I didn't know about this. October 18th. Does anyone know about that? Yes, um, we are doing an exposition bout with, um, we're partnering with one of our favorite charities, Ignite the Spirit, and they raise money for families that have lost members of their family to um, fire, uh, well, on the job, I don't know how to say it, like if they've died in the line of duty, that's how you say it. And. Um, <laughs> So um, we're putting on this expositional bout with them, and um, we're going to have the, uh, it's going to be a themed bout. So um, it's not our usual teams. We're going to have a team of cops, which are the mother cuffers. <laughs> and right. our, our, our fire, firefighter team is the hose beasts. Well, I want to I thank you all for coming on the show. It's uh, been exciting. It's uh, going to be visually great when you go to youtube.com slash heartlandmedia. Uh, can someone give me an email or website so that people can contact you and find out more information? You can always send an email to... Chicago Outfit Roller Derby at gmail.com. And we also have a website, which is www.chicagooutfitrollerderby.com. Okay, everybody out there in WLUW listening land, you've been listening to Live from the Heartland. I'm Michael James. I'm your host for this morning's edition. We want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank everybody who's helped make this show possible. We encourage you to do good in the world because the world needs all the good that you do. All power to the people. Over and out. Take it out with Red House. Keep me handling it.